Um, today we are going to be looking at a very important question. This was a question that one of my students said to me. So, I have tried to solve this question but I am not able to solve. This was yesterday. So I decided to put up a video for it. And um, it is under the production possibility curve. The production possibility curve, when we talk about the production possibility curve, we must always explain it linking it to the production of two goods. It can either be capital good or producer's good. Um, capital good or producer's good are of one and you can either keep saying either capital good or producer's good or capital good and consumer good. It is capital good or producer's good because capital good is otherwise known as producer's good or we talk about the other part, consumer good. Now, this is a question that it has been uh, said before all we have a diagram and then we have a question. I would like us to solve this question very well. Now, first of all, they ask the question, looking at the question, they say, what principle does the PPC illustrate? Actually, the, pre, the PPC illustrates three principles. It illustrates the principle of what? Scarcity. It illustrates the, the principle of what? Scarcity. It, it illustrates the principle of what? Choice and illustrate the principle of opportunity cost. These are the three principles that the PPC illustrate. Scarcity, choice, opportunity, cost. So these are the three basic principles that the PPC illustrate. Should in case any question is being placed before you, what principles does the illustr and PPC illustrate? In other ways, they can use it to, to manipulate over you the same what principle does the production possibility boundary illustrate? It illustrates the same thing. Production possibility has so many names. It has what? The production possibility curve, the um, production possibility boundary, and it also has um, um, the um, opportunity cost curve. So, on that, let's look at um, the, the other part of the question. They say, what? When is it possible for this country to produce our coin wide? Now, when why there is indicated where? Yeah, inside the PPC curve. It can only be possible for this country to produce a, a point why when there is what? Low level of technology. There should be a low level of technology. The level of technology should be low. Low level of technology. And there should also be what? If there is no level of technology, the country is going to be producing a what? Point why? If there's what? Low population size. When the population size is what is low, low population what size. If the population size is what is small, the country is going to produce well. Yeah. When the resources are what I I align idle, the country is going to be producing inside the PPC. When there's what underutilization of what economic resources, the country is going to be put in. in, 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 in. Producing what inside the PPC. On the other hand, the question still explain or ask us to do what to explain when it would the country be producing at what point C. Looking at point C, it is outside the PPC. Now the country it, it can only be possible for this country to be producing at point C when there's what economic what growth. When there's economic growth, the country can can what produce at point C. When there is what increase in what increase in the population size, increase in what in population, the country will be producing a lot at point C. When there is full utilization of what economic resources that the resources in the country, the country will be producing a lot at point C. And when there is what the, the standard of living is what is high, the country will be producing a lot at point C. I hope that question is very clear now. Should in case you, you are seeing any question, you have seen any question of this nature, you are able to answer it. Now, let's move to our next part of the question. The next part of this question says, which growth path should the country pursue? Sorry, our brochure was somehow supposed to be here and here. Which growth path should the country pursue if it is interested in what in long term rather than short term? If this country is interested in long term, he has to go for what? The production of what? Because what? 
if they are the 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 increase there's an increase in the uh, production of producers or capital good the country is foreseeing how it, it is that it is producing for for future uses but if the country is producing at a uh, consumer's good it shows that the country is producing what for the for the for the for the present so if the country want to uh, go for long term we take what producers good we produce more of what is usable. On the last part of the question, they ask: compare point A and point B in terms of what current living standards. Now, this is point A and this is point B. In terms of current living standard, point B that is, there is the country should produce more of what goods at point B. The living standard in what in B is high because what they have produced more of what point B. But when in current living in, in the in, in point A, the current living standard is what is very low because what they are producing more of what producers do. Thank you very much, viewers, for watching this uh, video on Benjamin Academics um, Bate on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page we are Benjamin Academics you can go there you can like our page on Facebook and you can invite friends and on our YouTube channel you can subscribe to our channel and you can comment to see what we, we think about the video and you can like our video you can also share to friends who are writing advanced level maybe even parents to understand the PPC thank you very much and God bless you